Alright, Dark Productions again. Alright, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to be able to play any type of media on the internet. Because when you download a, a lot of videos and whatnot from the internet, you're going to run into a lot of playback issues. Then they, you run into the whole argument about VLC, uh, MP player, Windows Media Player, iTunes, and just the whole cluster of different types of software that you have to own oh, DivX that you have to run into and install all of these programs just to play a huge media base so if you want to be able to unlock the ability to pretty much play any kind of video that you download off the internet you want to get the k Lite Kodak pack and you want to make sure you get the Mega if you're running 32-bit but if you're running 64-bit you want to get Mega and 64-bit version. The reason why you do that is because some codecs that you're going to download off the internet, they're only going to... how can you say it? There's a, different, there's a distinctive version and you'll run into playback issues sometimes if you don't install both. But by installing both, they do not conflict in any way. They actually build and work so that it has a bigger base to play videos off of. Now there's a huge difference between each version because each version adds more codecs and whatnot. But like I said, 32 bit for Mega and 64 bit and me and Mega if you're running a 64 bit operating system. You just simply go to the download site, go to the mirror, download and install it. Let's see, I already have it installed on this system, so I'm not going to bother installing it again. If you run into any issues, feel free to comment, but the install is straightforward. If it detects any codecs that are corrupted, just go ahead and let it fix it. And, happy sailing.